So this is the question as seen in the video below, the Apollo, Apollo astronaut Davis got dropped a hammer and feathered together on the moon and they reached the ground at the same time. Yeah, this is a pretty cool, cool video. I think it's from NASA um, and yeah, it's, uh, uh, and you know, it's, uh, uh, <laughs> it's not as though as they were doing this uh, uh, experiment <laughs> that they weren't sure of the result, but it's, uh, I think it, it is a testament to the achievement that Apollo mission is, that um, people were on the moon, you know, airless, uh, natural satellite of Earth. Um, you can do similar experiment on Earth. You just have to uh, vacuum out whatever container you are using. There are, I think, lecture videos that do that. So I encourage you to watch it. For myself, I'll move on and uh, look at the choices. And, um, you know, some of the choices are written deliberately trickily, as in, um, I, I, I have a, uh, one principle in writing distractors on multiple choice or multiple answer questions. I try to make the right choices as sound as wrong as possible without being wrong. And I try to make the wrong choices sound as right as possible without being right. So, um, so with that, let me just read it through here because the experiment was performed on the moon, which has no atmosphere. So far, so good. And it says hammer and feather could fall under influence of no force other than gravity. Yeah, that sounds right. So uh, gravity is everywhere. The moon's gravity is pulling these things and yeah, there's no other force. Uh, on earth, there would be normally air, uh, air resistance to worry about, so that's right. The important was important improving the universal applicability. Yeah, no. So this is what I mean by the trickiness. Um, so it does show universal applicability, but historically, like <laughs> by the time we went to the moon, we already knew about all this and they were all very well proven. So the experiment was not important. Uh, like that was never in that, uh, or that was not in that if, in, in any significant way. Uh, the moon's gravitational acceleration is smaller than Earth's by a factor of six. Um, I think if you read it through the section, textbook section, that is right. And this makes the fall slower, making the simultaneous drop easier to observe. Um, yeah, that sounds correct. Let me just read the question. Just correctly this, this thing. Um, sure, I, I guess um, it's not wrong. Um, <laughs> so let me check that. <laughs> the Apollo astronaut was much better. Yeah, so this is, um, I mean, this particular experiment, there isn't much to interpret. You drop them at the same time and they hit the ground at the same time. <laughs> so I don't think education matters there <laughs> because the experiment was perfect. Yeah, this is another made up uh, thing. So, okay, that seems right. Um, and and by the way, the whole story about uh, Galileo dropping things uh, on the Leaning Tower of Pisa, that's uh, considered apocryphal. I don't think that, uh, many people think that didn't actually happen. There are records of Galileo doing experiment with the inclines and see uniform acceleration when he eliminated the friction as much as he could. Um, so, yeah. So this is like wrong in many different ways. So, so yeah. Um, that's it.